So what are Aspire service defaults? I'm Damien Edwards. I'm a product architect on the .NET team. And we're gonna take a look at Aspire service defaults today. Now, Aspire comes with a lot of interesting features. You may have seen some of the other videos in this series. We enable health checks. There are things like telemetry, resiliency. How does a lot of that stuff get enabled for your application when you're building it out? Well, it's thanks to Aspire service defaults. Let's go and have a look at an application and I'll talk through a little bit about what I mean. So in this application, this is my orchestration project. I can see I've got my web application down the bottom and it's using a Redis instance for cache and a Postgres database to store some data. If I go over to the program CS for the actual web application, so my code, you can see one of the very early lines here is a call to builder.add service defaults. Well, where does that add service defaults method come from? Is that in a package? Is that another Aspire thing that I bring in? Well, no. Service defaults actually live in your project. There are a set of defaults that we think make sense as a starting position for your services, but that we intend for you to uh, update and modify over time so that they match the specific and uh, unique needs of your application. So let's have a little closer look about what's going on inside this method. If I navigate to the definition there, you can see that it just jumped to another file that's in my solution. It's actually over here in this service defaults project that gets added to Aspire solutions when you either create a new one from scratch or you take an existing solution and you add Aspire to it. So what happens in this add service defaults method? Well, it configures open telemetry. That's how we get all that rich telemetry information coming out of our applications. It adds a default set of health checks so that I can see things like, is my application healthy? What about the dependencies that my application is talking to? This is the line that turns on the guts of how that stuff works. We also enable service discovery so that my application can talk to other resources without needing to know the specific connection information required to do so. If I go and have a look at what's inside these methods, yes, this is more code inside of the application that we created for you that you get to own. It's a sensible set of defaults that we think makes sense as a starting point, but over time, this is for you to own and for you to customize as the needs of your application change as it grows and modifies itself over time. So here we're setting up open telemetry for logging. We're setting up open telemetry for metrics and tracing. We're also then setting up exporting of open telemetry from what's happening inside my application to the system that understands how to store open telemetry, for example, like the Aspire dashboard. And then lastly, we've got some uh, uh, the stuff down here to talk about health checks that I said before. So here's a health check that just says, hey, I'm alive. If I can run, then I'm gonna report that I am healthy myself. Um, and then we've got endpoints that need to be added that I can hit in order to actually check the health of my application. So what does that look like when the application is actually running? If I go over to the running application, we can see that it's all running and I can move through the application and it's working. That all makes sense. So what did service defaults enable? Well, service defaults enabled things like telemetry. If I go back to my traces, I can see all the information about those page navigations that I just made because I'm using service defaults. What about health checks? I mentioned that. Well, health checks are being exposed through default endpoints that were enabled by service defaults. So there's actually multiple things contributing to this status of healthy that's being returned from the default endpoint that was added by this service defaults project. If I'm uh, using Redis or Postgres like I am in this application and I add those using Aspire components, they're gonna add their health checks which will automatically get integrated into this response from this default endpoint. Now, you might wanna add your own health check endpoints to report on other things or be monitored by other systems. And because the code for service defaults is straight in your solution, it's very easy for you to do so. Now, that's been a quick overview of service defaults in Aspire. I wanna say we've really enjoyed working on Aspire and we really can't wait for you to try it out.